You mic'd up? Yep, I am mic'd up. Alright, Jason's PP. Wow. I wonder what we're gonna do when we get to Tia. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to Working Class Music. I'm one of your hosts this week, Jason. And this week we're doing potent pairing. From my potent pairing, I know this is gonna be very bourgeois and as Teal would probably say, you know, very up my alley. We're doing a mini Strifecta episode. If you can't guess, it's Strymon. I love Strymon. They're actually one of my favorite companies ever. And part of the reason I wanted to do this because since 2015, Strymon has kind of been very, very integral to uh, my playing. And I didn't realize it. Like I've always had my main delay be a Strymon and my reverb, you know, dabble from time to time. And my drive has always been Strymon. So I figured since I'm not a worship player, this would be kind of cool and to build a mini Strifecta, if you will. The pedals of choice are going to be the Strymon Sunset, the Strymon Dig V2, and the Strymon Blue Sky V2. Obviously, I have to thank the folks at Strymon for providing us the Dig V2 and the Blue Sky V2. I actually did buy the Sunset with my own money, so yeah, non-biased review kind of. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know how the f I'm going to follow up Nelson, so on to the specs. <laughs> Let's get to what you need to know slash the specs for this mini trifecta. I I'm sure the church crowd is going to love this. Now let's start with the sunset. What you need to know is the Sunset is Strymon's dual overdrive. You have three settings per side. You can run them either A into B or B into A or run them in parallel. Next up, we have the Strymon Dig. This is the version two, which adds MIDI implementation via USB-C, adds a nice little tone knob, but it doesn't mess with any of the sounds. So it's just a nice little quality of life upgrade. Last but not least, arguably, probably, arguably, maybe, the biggest update and most popular pedal that Strymon makes, the Blue Sky. This is the Blue Sky version two. You still get the uh, MIDI implementation. One of the big things that they did is they retooled all the algorithms. So this is a very new sounding pedal compared to its predecessor. Also, they changed a couple things. The shimmer is now its own knob, not its own setting. So you can add shimmer to everything. Yeah, don't know how I feel about that. You still have the favorite switch, and if I hadn't said it already, USB-C MIDI implementation. And let's get on to the non-worship sounds. So for this one, I'm going to use the Blue Skies and Always On reverb because that's how I play it. So we're just going to go between the dig and the sunset. So I'm going to let you hear how it sounds. Just the Blue Sky. So let me turn down the shimmer and let's go with the drive.
let's go with the dig in blue sky. And now, all three. Good thing I wrote this riff around all three. That's And last but not least, I'm going to show off just the drone setting, which is just the delay and blue sky. That's the sounds. All right, so what did we learn in this episode of Potent Pairing? And my final thoughts. So I know there are people that are like, oh, it's super expensive. Is Strymon really working class? Yes, it is. I'm not gonna go on people's wallets. Secondly, I think this is amazing if you are someone who loves ambience. I myself don't use a lot of modulation and I'm pretty much just bare bones. From every band I've been in, from Native Sons to Up Until Young Mountain, Strymon has been crucial for my sound. There's always been some kind of sky, there's always been some kind of delay, and the sunset I've used since it's been released. One of the cool things I like about the sunset in particular, it has a built-in noise gate, so as soon as you engage it, there's no noise which I don't know if you'd want for that. So yeah, is this mini Strifecta awesome? Yes. Is it costly? Yes. But does it sound good? Yes. 
So yeah, with that out of the way, this mini trifecta, I would recommend to someone who's looking for like a small board that loves ambience. You can achieve a lot with this. So if you're into bands like This Will Destroy You or Explosions in the Sky or Daughter or any of the sort, or even if I dare say, look, I don't like worship music. I'm just gonna get that out there. But if you're in a worship band, this will work really well for you. But yeah, if you just love ambient stuff, hell, even if you love any indie alternative thing, this can handle. So yeah, the only thing I would recommend adding into this potent pairing, and I say this for every delay we do, something where you could control the tempo, cause that'd be really cool. So if you're playing with a backing track, you know, your, your delays are always on tempo. Oh, also I'd recommend this for anyone wanting to achieve the tone of the edge, cause this comes damn near pretty close, unintentionally. That's who I'd recommend it. These pedals can be found on Sweetwater, through our affiliate link. I wholeheartedly recommend them. If you wanna just buy anything through our affiliate link, that'll be awesome too, because it helps the channel out. Another brand that has a trifecta that I'd recommend that I actually wanna do, but in a more different way is Chase Bliss. I know we're getting into the expensive territories. I know, I know what the economy looks like. Believe me, I know this. But another brand that I would recommend that I'm probably gonna do a follow-up episode on this is Chase Bliss. They have a couple that would be a really cool trifecta, especially if you're into more glitchy type music. They're definitely expensive, but they are worth it. But let me know what other company you guys think has a perfect trifecta. Again, I think the Strymon stuff is pretty hard to top, but I'm interested to know what you guys think. So with that, I have been one of your hosts, Jason. This has been my mini trifecta. Again, we have merch, Patreon, our affiliate link. So like, subscribe, comment. And if we're not at 10K, we're gonna be pretty close to 10K. So help us get there. Thank you and good night.